Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today, we're gonna go over the top three most expensive stocks on the New York Stock Exchange. Make sure that you stick around to number one because the price of that stock is literally gonna blow your mind. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back YouTube. I'm gonna count down from three all the way to one from the um, top three most expensive stocks that are on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, these prices will blow your mind uh, on how expensive these stocks can actually be. But you can invest into these stocks as good as they are right now if you're using Robinhood because they have a feature on Robinhood to where you could fractionally invest shares into these big, large company stocks that you might not be able to afford right now. So let's say you always wanted to buy Netflix. Netflix was $300, $400, $500. $400, but you're young, you're in college, and you wanted to invest into the stock market, but you really couldn't buy that full share of Netflix. Well, you can invest five, 10, $15 into Netflix every single week until you eventually have a full share of Netflix. And you can do the exact same thing with the top three most expensive stocks in the New York Stock Exchange today. I'm gonna leave a link to Robinhood down in the description if you guys wanna uh, try that out. If you click that link and sign up, you'll get a free share and I'll get a free share. And remember, it's called Fractionally uh, Investing. So all you got to do, sign up for Robinhood, uh, deposit some of my money, and you could buy $5 worth of these top three most expensive stocks that I'm about to talk about right now in this video. So what you guys been waiting on, this is number three. This stock has started in someone's basement. Um, I'm pretty sure that you know this stock. So the stock has started in his own basement. Uh, parents funded him $250,000 to get his business off the ground and he grew it from just being into his basement to over a $1 trillion company. And that company is Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN. So I shouldn't have to explain what Amazon is. You guys know what Amazon is. Amazon holds this place as one of the most expensive stocks in the stock market. Currently holding its price point around $2,400 per share. So Amazon holds this place as one of the most expensive stocks in the market, currently with a price around $2,500 at the time of the recording of this video. Amazon is in the consumer service sector and they specialize in distribution and catalog. Amazon is one of the most lucrative trading stocks in the New York Stock Exchange with a market cap of over $1 trillion. Amazon is owned by the richest man in the world. Uh, I think he just became the richest man in the world, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos started off Amazon pretty much in his basement, selling books and CDs and other catalogs that he had. And then his parents invested $250,000 into his company and he eventually grew from a small basement to distribution centers all across the United States bringing his company over $1 trillion market evaluation and also making him the richest man in the world. When Amazon first went public, you could have bought their shares at around $5 to $7 per share. And even within the first year, you could have still bought their um, a couple of their shares for $100 per share. Just imagine back in the year 2000, you bought a couple of shares for 80, 90 bucks per share. And now in year 2020, Amazon is worth over $2,500 per share. You could have 25 extra money just by holding Amazon from the year 2000 to 2020. That is insane. So Amazon, everyone loves it. They have um, a subscription service for videos. Um, they have their fire sticks and they have many different types of technologies with uh, facial recognition. Um, their, dis their distribution is one of the best in the world. You can order from that site and you can pretty much get it the same day, the next day, or within the next two days on Amazon, depending on what you're ordering. So this company is actually one of my favorite companies in the top three, Amazon. I added them to my portfolio earlier this year. So let's pull them up on Robinhood and take an in-depth look at Amazon. Okay guys, here we are on Amazon. The price right now is at $2,538. Over the last year, Amazon is at its all-time high since 
the pandemic has been going on. Everyone has been at home ordering Amazon from a click of that button, uh, driving up the stock price of Amazon since the, the bad news had came out, uh, driving up all the way from at the beginning of the year, Amazon was at $1,900 and now Amazon is at $2,500. Over the last five years, Amazon has increased by 500%, nearly 500%, uh, 496% to be exact. So they're up $2,112 over the last five years. Five years ago, Amazon was at $434. I purchased one share of Amazon at the cost of $1,873. When the bad news had came out, it had taken a little dip, and that was my perfect opportunity to buy in. But if you guys don't have exactly a um, thousand or twenty-five hundred dollars to buy a full share of Amazon, uh, all you have to do is click trade, uh, buy, and then at the top right corner you have the options to buy in dollars or buy in shares. So in shares, if I want to buy one, it's $2,500. If I wanted to buy in dollars, I could say I want to buy $12 worth of Amazon. That's how much money I have available in my account. And then I hit review and swipe up and then I will buy $12 worth of Amazon. So that is a very simple way that you guys can buy into one of the uh, most expensive stocks in the world with just 12 bucks. If we take a look at their market cap, their market cap is at $1.27 trillion. Whew, this company is doing amazing. The 52 week high is at $2,700 and the 52 week low is at $1,600. So uh, Amazon is volatile. Some people trade it, some people swing trade it. I'm going to buy it and hold it for the next 20 years and hopefully uh, gain 500% of my investment back on Amazon as well. So that's the number three stock, Amazon, owned by Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world. And coming in at number two is a company that specializes in the construction and selling single family detached homes, townhomes, and condominium buildings. And that company is, is NVR, tickle symbol, NVR. Right now, their price is currently $3,175 per share. That's even more than Amazon. This is in the $3,000 range. In fact, uh, earlier this year, that price was all the way up to $4,000 per share in VR. Now, their market cap is nowhere near Amazon's, even though their stock value is higher. Their market cap is around $11 billion. So let's pull up NVR on Robinhood to take an in-depth look at exactly how they've been performing the last couple of years. Okay, so here we are in NVR. Over the last year, they're actually down. They're down 6.47%. Over the last five years, they're up 132% all the way from 1,388 bucks to $3,175. Their all-time high over the last year, before the news came out, that was around 4,017 bucks. That was their high, was $4,017. And after the news dropped, they went all the way down to $2,175. So there wasn't a lot of faith in the real estate in, uh, industry uh dealing with nvr so they pretty much lost half of their value within a couple of of of, of, of weeks dropping from four thousand all the way down to two thousand dollars in just a couple of weeks so that's nvr over on robin hood they actually have an interesting thing that shows six analysis ratings uh, for free that you guys can look at right now robin hood is saying it's a 33 percent buy and a 67% hold. Uh, so if you already uh, own it, it, it said pretty much hold on to it, you wouldn't sell 0% sell. If you're thinking about buying it, 33% of the analysis says yes, you could go ahead and buy. And if you already hold it, just continue to hold it, don't sell it, and continue to uh, ride the wave up. And hopefully America recovers soon and you will be back in the positive. But that is NVR. Uh, between these two companies, Amazon and NVR, I'm riding with Amazon 100%. But 
what you guys been waiting on is the number one most expensive stock in the New York Stock Exchange. And when I tell you how much this company costs just to buy one share of this one single company, it's gonna blow your mind and you're gonna be glad that Robinhood has fractionally investing so that you guys can get into this company right now. And coming in with the most expensive stock and the New York Stock Exchange is Berkshire Hathaway, worth over $270,000 per share. $270,000 per share. $270,000 per share. Yes, I had to say it three times, let that sink in. And of course, this company is owned by Warren Buffett, the investing guru of our generation. No one has out invested him in his lifetime, my lifetime, or any other lifetime ever in recorded history. Warren Buffett uh, owns Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway currently outright owns a bunch of different companies. So I'm gonna read a list of everything Berkshire Hathaway owns. Okay, so here we go. Berkshire Hathaway currently owns wholly, that mean every single bit of it, they own Geico, Duracell, Dairy Queen, BNSF, Labrizzo, Fruit of the Loom, Helsingberg Diamonds, Long and Foster, Flight Safety International, uh, Pampered Chef, Forest River, NetJets. They also own 38% of Pilot Flying, and they own 26% of Kraft Heinz, the ketchup company. They own 17% of American Express, 9% of Wells Fargo, 9% of Coca-Cola, 6% of Bank of America, they own 5% of Apple. And earlier in the 2016, they bought a bunch of the US airline carriers like uh, United Airlines, Delta Airlines, and Southwest Airlines, and also more American Airlines. But one Buffett actually not too long ago, I wanna say two weeks ago, uh, Warren Buffett actually decreased those positions of all the airline companies in his portfolio because they took a significant major hit. Either he got rid of all the airlines completely out of the portfolio or he reduced their positions uh, in the portfolio. But th that is a list of everything Warren Buffett had added into the Berkshire Hathaway um, company that you guys can invest in. In fact, if you invest $1,000 back in 1965 into the S&P 500, you will have a market gain of 12,000%. Just $1,000 in 1965, you will have grown at 12,000% by investing into the S&P 500. Now, that same $1,000 in 1965, if you wanna invest that into Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett's, uh, his company, if you invested that $1,000 into his company, you will have grown that by 880,000%. 880,000%. Yes, I have to say that three times. He outperformed the S&P 500 by a long shot, guys. So, and that's why his company is worth over $270,000 per share. And that is ticker symbol BRK.A. And also, um, it's so expensive because he wants, uh, it's worth the money, first of all, and that is for long-term investors. It's not for people just to buy and sell his stocks. There's actually another tickle symbol for that, which is BRK.B, which is worth around 180, 190 bucks that you guys can buy um, that if you want to swing trade it. It's just a smaller portion of, um, of Berkshire Hathaway and you don't have to, but you don't have any voting rights um, when it comes to the company making a decision or anything like that. You'll have to own A to actually have voting rights. I That's why I've read, that's why I believe is the, the difference between uh, BRK.A and BRK.B, not only just the price, but uh, what can you vote on just by owning a couple of those shares. But why invest in B when Robinhood has fractional shares? You can invest in A, uh, the $270,000 and grow your company. It's very expensive right now, but it's not at the all time high. Um, in fact, uh, earlier this year, it was at $340,000 per share. 
$347,000 per share to be exact. So um, there's still ways uh, for Berkshire Halfway to recover to get back to $347,000 per share. So if you guys want to invest as little as 10 bucks into this company and gain a couple of percent as this company uh, returns back to its original position, you can go ahead and do it that way. I will also leave the link to Robinhood down in the description. If you guys click that, you will get a free stock just for signing up. And also while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I have new videos coming out every single week. And also hit the thumbs up button because it actually helps this channel out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. So hitting that thumbs up button really, really, really helps a lot. So go on ahead and do that. But other than that, I'm giving you the top three most expensive stocks in the New York Stock Exchange. And hopefully uh, you guys learned something new today and that you invest into these companies. But other than that, I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace.